And we're back, back in the building, back with some more boxing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and all that good stuff. Now guys, I gotta say it, it's been an extremely interesting and entertaining year for the sport of boxing, uh, to say the least. Uh, we've been getting all these fights this year that we've been clamoring for in years past. I don't know what it is about this year, but everything has seemed to come to a head this year. Uh, we got the Javante Tank Davis versus uh, Ryan Garcia fight. Uh, you know, they were talking about that fight for a long time. Terrence Buck Crawford and Errol Spence Jr., a fight that was five years in the making. And despite these platforms not wanting to put these fights on, uh, those guys were able to get those fights across the line due to the fact that they wanted to fight each other. And I think that is the great thing about this year in the sport of boxing. A lot of these guys want to face each other and they're not going to stop till the deal is made. And hopefully, I would say hopefully this trend continues in the sport of boxing. Now, we, we've had a few that didn't get across the line like we wanted to, but for the most part, we did. Uh, I didn't even mention... Uh, Lomachenko and Devin Haney. We got that fight for uh, undisputed across the line. Uh, we got uh, Caleb Sweethands Plant and David Benavidez across the line. A fight that's been talked about for a while. Both of those guys had bad blood. But the fight got done and, and we got a great fight. So it's been a great year. And we've got a lot of surprises this year too, of course. Uh, Terrence Buck Crawford saying now he's willing to go up to 168 to face the winner of Jamel and Canelo Alvarez. That's greatness there. Also, uh, we had Jamel Charlo jumping up two weight classes, daring to be great, facing Canelo Alvarez this September the 30th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Undisputed versus undisputed. Just surprising, unheard of things that's happening and fights we're getting that we didn't expect to really get. So uh, hats off. To boxing this year they're, they're doing their thing this year and I'm loving every minute of it now this one here this one came as quite a shock when I saw this uh, and uh, just had more fuel to the fire for this year but Dimitri Bivol Dimitri Bivol the 175 pound uh, WBA champion the light heavyweight champion is willing to face Jamel Iron Man Charlo, if he is successful against Canelo Alvarez uh, for Undisputed versus Undisputed. And uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, this is very, very interesting to me. Now, I want to read what Bivol had to say. Uh, he was doing an interview, I think, with Fight Hub TV. So shout out to Fight Hub for uh, bringing this interesting topic to light. So it says here. If Jamel Charlo wins against Canelo Alvarez, I would like to fight him, said Dimitri Bivol to Fight Hub TV. It's not like, oh, I want to fight against someone at 168. No, I prefer to fight in my weight class, light heavyweight. Okay, so here's the thing about the, him fighting at light heavyweight. I think the whole thing with Bivol is he wanted to become undisputed at light heavyweight. And we know Arthur Better BF has the other three titles. But the WBC is standing in the way of that fight. They won't sanction it uh, due to the fact that the war is going on in Ukraine. So uh, it puts a damper. Even if those two guys fight on there, it wouldn't be for undisputed. And of course, you know, Dimitri Bivol wants to be undisputed. You know, it's not his fault that the war is taking place and he wants an opportunity. And you guys know that he was willing to go to 168 to face Canelo Alvarez in a rematch uh, for Undisputed. And Canelo Alvarez really didn't want to take that risk. Uh, he wanted the fight to be at 175. He didn't want his titles to be on the line, so he opted not to. Uh, well, I would say the negotiations fell through with that fight. I, I, I really didn't think Canelo Alvarez had a good shot at winning that fight. I know a lot of you guys probably didn't as well. Uh, and it wasn't because of the size, I would say, of Bivol. It was because of Bivol's superior skill set. So, of course, you got Canelo Alvarez. Uh, he signed that three-fight deal with the PBC. 
and Jamel Charlo is first up to bat. Now, I want to look at both of these guys, Bivol and Jamel Charlo. That would be interesting. So I'm going to look, pull up their box recs here. Let's see. Okay, Jamel Charlo, orthodox fighter, uh, six feet tall, 73 uh, inch arm reach, 35 and one, of course, uh, 19 KOs. Uh, Bivol, I want to just compare a little bit here. Let me pull Bivol's box rec up. So Bivol, same height, 72-inch uh, arm reach, 21 and 0, 11 KOs. So they're not that, they're not that far apart in size, guys. So I don't know if, if size uh, would be an issue for Jamel Charlo if he was to face Bivol. If Bivol was to come down to 168, uh, both of the guys are extremely athletic. I, I think Jamel is a little bit more athletic than Bivol. You guys know Bivol likes to be on his toes as well. Uh, he throws great combinations, that, like machine gun type combinations. Uh, Jamel Charlo, great combination puncher. Uh, respectable power. Both of the guys have respectable power, in my opinion. I think it would be a very interesting and entertaining fight. I would probably give Bivol a slight edge due to the fact that, you know, he's a light heavyweight. You know, he might hit a little harder, I think, than uh, Jamel Charlo. But Jamel Charlo... I'm sure he would be game for this fight as well. Uh, Jamel Charlo is one of those guys that's really overlooked. And I like Jamel Charlo because he doesn't run from anyone. You know, he he wants to be a great fighter. He wants to be seen as a great fighter. So he's willing to take risks and do great things. And uh, I'm really excited for him uh, come September 30th. I don't know if he's going to win the fight. I'm going to have to kind of look at it and compare him and Canelo Alvarez. But I think he has a good shot. And if he does win that fight and, and <laughs> opts to face Bivol, uh, that would be extremely entertaining. I know a lot of us want to see him face Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, either way, if, if, he, if he wins and he faces Crawford, uh, if he wins and he faces Bivol, uh, it's going to be entertaining, no doubt in my, in my mind. But I, I will give Bivol the slight edge due to the power dynamic. I think he does probably hit a little harder uh, than Jamel Charlo, but you can't count Jamel Charlo out. And uh, interesting, guys. I, I'm, I'm loving it, like I said. But you guys tell me what you think about this. Uh, do you like that? Dude, would you like him to face Bibble? Would you like to see that fight if Jamel Charlo wins? Would you rather see him face Terrence Buck Crawford at 168? Uh, interesting time. Uh, great time for boxing. You guys let me know what you feel about it in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.